Hi guys, good evening. It is evening time here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, let me introduce myself, right? In case some of y'all don't know me, I am uh, Ines and I am a registered nurse by profession. Um, I work, yes, I mean, like we all know that there's this pandemic going on of the COVID virus. Uh, we have been on lockdown, currently residing in South Africa. We've been on lockdown um, and uh, currently we are on level one. So, uh, so yeah. And we are having a second wave. There was a predicted second wave, which I think that is falling into place now because people are getting infected. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, work in theater and uh, of course I'm in a hospital envir environment so I come across COVID cases and you never know who you're dealing with colleagues or patients themselves they might have results that are negative but they, they can be false negative today's Tuesday the 9th of December 2020 I'm supposed to, uh, I actually planned on um, doing this video on a daily basis, starting from yesterday. But then, um, yesterday I was not feeling quite well. Um, I was really feeling, um, feeling weak. I was feeling weak, beaten up. And uh, on Monday, I only managed to find out about my results um, at around half past five in the evening so I was completely devastated and uh, yeah it's it's got me also emotional I know that I'm prone to, to, to having that it's normal but then um, at times it's hard to actually face reality uh, up until the thing has got you as a person you know so um, I know that I'm still young, I'm healthy, no comorbidities and stuff like that. But then you think of all these things that has um, been uh, happening, you know, in the hospital. How you saw patients dying, the conditions they were in, how their conditions deteriorated. They never got better. Some did get better, but just a few. So when you hear such news that uh, you now have the virus, it hits you so bad because now you're thinking okay you're thinking of the worst you won't think of the of the positive side of it you think of the negative side of it you think of the worst that okay now what if i end up like that and uh, what if um i get respiratory um difficulty in breathing difficulty in breathing what if um, you know you think of, of the worst ever so uh, it's got me also emotional but then um, yeah here i am today it is day number two after finding out my results yesterday no on monday evening yesterday was wait so yesterday today is wednesday yeah today is wednesday sorry guys i'm just slightly disorientated being in uh, a four-cornered room for two and a half days ain't no child's play so uh, yeah i think today is wednesday today is wednesday so i yesterday i called a doctor's rooms and i informed them and they managed to re-prescribe everything for me um which i'll show you all tomorrow they re-prescribed everything for me and so now it was kind of like a whole chaos at work because Tuesdays is our busy days. Um, theater, we have lots of surgeries. So if, no, no one is actually off on that day. So now what happened is that I had to give them a list of the people that I was in contact with, close contact with. And there were a few people, uh, apart from the ones that I was with over the weekend, like they wanted me to give a list of people from last week, Wednesday and Thursday, because the last time I was actually at work was on Thursday, last week, Thursday. So I had to like, being in such a confused, 
shock state I've had to now think back on Wednesday who was I with what like I, I, at least I, I managed to remember basically I think all of them I gave the names and everyone that was in contact with me was sent back home whether it was Wednesday Thursday over the weekend they were sent back home so imagine how chaotic our theater was because now there was no stuff and uh, we had to work, they had to work on a skeleton stuff. Uh, so uh, they were sent back home. I have spoken to some of them so far. They say they're fine. And I just pray and I hope that uh, nothing comes up positive. I wouldn't want anyone to go through what I'm currently going through. But it's not really kind of, it's not a, a, a good feeling at all. It's not a good ex, ex, experience at all. This morning, I woke up. Actually, yesterday, do I even remember how I woke up yesterday? Most of the time during the day, I would feel hot, I would feel cold. You feel the heat from the inside, you know? Uh, you don't even know which position to lay on bed. Uh, it's reached a point whereby I had to literally lie on the floor, you know? Because that was the most comfortable position for me. I just put a sheet on the floor, took a pillow, covered myself with the gown and that was it and also you get a headache once the headache starts then you know the temperature rises you know once the temperature rises you feel so uneasy you don't feel yourself um and actually for me i i still have my sense of smell i still have my sense of taste so but then i do not have appetite at all I just eat because I am on heavy medication. That's what I'm eating, but that's why I'm eating. Sorry, but then I don't. If it was by choice, I wouldn't even want to eat anything. So this morning, uh, when I woke up, I was so, so I felt so beaten up. I was, I was weak. I was very, very weak. I was weak. Went to the toilet and I came back. I started coughing. Like I was coughing so much, my throat felt dry, like literally dry. It felt as though someone had poured like a, a huge bunch, bucket of sand, you know, in my throat. That's how it felt. It felt so dry. So um, I tried. I had some water. I tried to drink some water, but the water felt a bit cold for me. It was warm water, which cools down, but then it felt cold. So I couldn't even finish it. So uh, they boiled for me water and they gave me some water to drink. I said I drink and I felt a bit better. And then afterward, they got me something to eat. So I ate some oats. I drank my maids, a whole bunch of maids. I'm going to go through the maids tomorrow. Um, it's just an introduction for now. So um, it's kind of not, it's not, it's not easy to, to drink those maids. I'm not, I'm not, I'm a medic. When it comes to drinking medication, it's everything. Else. I can't believe it. I prefer injections, but most of all, I prefer uh, intravenous infusions. So I prefer drips, medication for drip. I don't, I don't want drugs or uh, injections. Injections second preference, but first preference intravenous infusions. So, um, so yeah, I managed to drink the meds. And later on again the temperature rose and once the temperature rises you just feel like removing all your clothes which i did and i drank i literally drank um, paracetamol which kind of helped me and um, and yeah so uh, it isn't easy it isn't easy i'm trying my level best to keep healthy I'm trying to boost with lots of water um, and lots of healthy food but um, yeah we'll see how uh, how things are going to go but then I'm just keeping faith I know I am a child of God I'm gonna make make it I'll make I'll pass through this by the end of the week I should be feeling fine I will see y'all tomorrow This is day three of me getting infected. Today is Wednesday. Bags are packed. No. Are you ready to go? It's Thursday today. 
this Thursday time today, tomorrow we'll be on the road. And uh, riding with you Thursday the sunny earth. Did not have a pleasant night at all. I wouldn't want it to be uh, taking my video last night. I can feel that the headache is coming back again, so I must just take a bath quickly so that I can be able to, to, uh, to do other stuff, eat and take medication. This sounds really easy, it's not easy. I am unable to stand for so long, I'm unable to do even to hold the phone for so long. Hence, I usually just drop the videos in between and all that, yeah. So, uh, would take turns okay it's actually starts at the base of my skull and goes all the way to the right side of my head and uh, puts pressure on my eye and I take painkillers and uh, knocks me out after two hours and I wake up thinking that at least I'm getting better then it starts on the other side so it first starts off with the fever, I start feeling a little bit hot and that's when I know that no, this headache is about to start. Um, so basically every two to three hours, the whole of last night, I was just taking painkillers. Um, one thing that I was advised is that you've got to treat this uh, virus uh, person, person. Because today you might be having a blocked nose, tomorrow it's gone, tomorrow it's something else, it's stuck at something else. So, uh, so yeah, um, I woke up this morning having a terrible, terrible, terrible um, gastric reflux, um, ulcers, so heartburn in general. And I had to, to take um, yeah, something for that. But, anyways, I'm gonna take y'all through the meds that I'm currently on. As we all know, there isn't any cure for the virus as yet. So, when you think COVID, you think of just taking anything that will make you feel better. You think of just 
boosting your immune system in any way that will make you feel better. So I was put on azithromycin. I'm not gonna literally show y'all each and every. I'm gonna just read it for y'all. It's an antibiotic, 500 milligrams, only given three doses. I finished my last dose yesterday, so hooray! No more antibiotics for me. Um, vitamin T go. It's an energy um, vitality, basically a rehydration solution. Okay? Uh, just not to waste so much time. I'm not gonna show y'all all the meds individually. I'm gonna basically write them down in the information box below, and then y'all can basically um, Google it and find out more about it. So this contains all your vitamin Bs, the vitamin B1, B6, B12, the creatine, and magnesium, your um, fructose as well. Lots of antioxidants. It revitalizes you. Zinc. Right, this is zinc. It's a form of it's a vitamin. Pregnisol. It's a cortisol. This is what I'm not taking. I take it twice a day, and I don't like it. It's so bitter. Like it's literally so bitter. And you've got to take 20 milligrams for tiny tablets, which you can never get used to. I take calcium beta. Calcium beta. This is what I take. Uh, it's a form of my vitamin C it contains a thousand milligrams of vitamin C patients that have COVID um, are allowed should actually take a thousand milligrams and above of vitamin C a day I usually take this about three times a day because I mean like I need my vitamin C in my system I actually prefer taking air immune air immune is another type as well of an effervescent vitamin C tablets uh, but the thing is that I think I kind of get claustrophobic with it when I see it dissolve the color and it does not work for me. It's I kind of get an allergic reaction just by looking at it. I think it's all in my mind. Looking at the color, the way it changes. It looks more like um, dirty, muddy water, you know. Slow mag. Slow magnesium. I don't really take it every day. Uh, reason being is that it has a side effect of uh, increasing your heart rate and not a regular rhythm so um, I take it when I do feel some joint pains because at times I do feel some joint pains with aspirin I do take disprin but what I do with it with with disprin is that um, I make a concoction what I do, it's something that I, a recipe I was given by a friend who was once attacked with the virus and it really, really helped him. I, I take um, my um, Lanzalock. Lanzalock, um, it's a medication, it's a proton pump inhibitor. It protects the, the layer of the stomach. So being on so much medication and then that I'm I'm uh, I have a acute I suffer from acute gastritis. Um, I take that 30 minutes prior to eating, and then after taking my meds, I drink some Gaviscon Advance, and I also have um, Alsanic tablets that I also take, just so to prevent uh, more heartburn. ACC 200. ACC 200 is a mucolactant. Um, it helps release the phlegm from your chest, making you cough better. I also have a clear cough, my clear cough mixture. You can use any cough mixture of your choice, but I hardly take this, really. I hardly take this because my cough is not, first of all, like it's not even so much productive. Number one, it's more of a dry cough. And number two, I don't cough so often. And I find myself, uh, I end up coughing so much after steaming myself. So the steaming and drinking that whole concoction concoction is is basically a great aid for me. It's a replacement for this. So I literally put this aside. I don't take this anymore. I take thymine. Thymine is also a vitamin, all right? Which, yeah, I still have to take capsules, what I use. And I also have my Endolexi um, throat spray. That's what I use for my sore throats, just in case. 
I did experience, uh, experience a little bit of uh, sore throat this afternoon, but like um, I did spray and had a, a sweet tea. So I also have nasal spray, Artribin. This is Artribin nasal spray. Um, oh gosh, I just forgot. Yeah, let me get something for y'all. But anyways, the nasal spray that I that I take, that I, mean, that I use. I just started using it today because this headache throughout the whole of yesterday it was making turns taking turns actually on my right hand side and then my left hand side my right hand side my left hand side and then later on this morning it became central it became central and uh it's kind of like compressed my brain like i felt as though my brain was compressed my sinuses got inflamed i felt it because my nose was blocked and uh, my temperature rose i wasn't myself anymore so i had to to get a nasal spray just to have a better sleep uh, which kind of helped me paracetamol panado paracetamol and also cyanide panado is over the counter cyanide you need a prescription for it it is also very strong the common side effects of both drugs of course it knocks you out the sana leaf is much more stronger, so yeah, it should not see out. IQ Uterina, these are chewable tablets. They are um, probiotics. Uh, probiotic, it's a probiotic. You know when you're on antibiotics, uh, you have to take a probiotic, which helps protect your gut. Because antibiotics gives you a terrible running stomach. You can get, you can get antibiotics associated with diarrhea. So um, you've got to you've got to take a probiotic. So I prefer taking my Ritalina uh, tablets because number one, I can chew them. Number two, they taste good. I'm not a fan of tablets. And number three, they work magic. So yeah, every morning my routine is that every morning I try. It is not easy. I do look fine now but i'm not really i'm not real i'm just trying to force myself uh, i did take something for pain prior to starting this video so my headache has subsided so my routine is that i steam i steam every morning and i sweat a lot while steaming because you've got to heat your body up and viruses and things don't go hand in hand so it helps with the healing process. Uh, I steam three times a day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At times I do skip the afternoon process because I am like knocked out by the day. I'm just sleeping maybe on the floor. I'm just feeling not myself. So I uh, go on steaming in the evening because I know that in the future I'm going to have to sleep. So I steam. After steaming, I um, a bath, I take a bath, and I apply some Vicks Vapor Rub. I apply some Vicks Vapor Rub all over my chest, actually my entire upper body, and also my back, my neck. As you can see, I'm like shiny here. I did, I'm from bathing, I'm from steam, I'm from having a bath, sorry. So like, I apply it on my chest, the whole of my upper body, my back, my neck behind my ear and i also go to the extent of applying it just under below my nostrils the struggle is real the struggle literally is real locked up in this room the only place i visit is the toilet and uh also i try to read like at least i was kind of excited that at least i'm gonna have time to myself i can catch up on my um, movies online or read but it's impossible it's literally impossible whenever I try to read whenever I try to, write, to watch anything uh, on my phone even anything encouraging or whatnot it becomes so difficult because it triggers my headache because you know you need concentration to do all those and I guess my, my, my brain is just mentally drained I am mentally drained, drained. And also, whenever people try to call me so much, if I use my phone so often, it's become so irritable. Really, really does become irritable because now my head starts aching again. 
and it's something I really want to once the head starts aching it gives me the temperature and I become an easy I don't become myself and my, 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 my day just gets boiled so uh, being in this condition the situation is not so pleasant at all really and uh, I wouldn't wish it for anyone as much as I must have who often holds but um, I, uh, I don't like it, really, I don't like it. I'm much more of an outdoor person and I miss being outdoors, I'm always out and about. But now being here, I also love my own space. But um, yeah, COVID got me, so yeah, do I have a choice? I don't try it. So, uh, so yeah, one more thing is that um, it hits you emotionally. It hits you emotionally. At times I just find myself crying and I'm asking God, like, why? Like, why me? Like, why did it have to, to hit me? Like, what did I do? Like, you just ask yourself all these things. Of course, it can hit anyone. But when you're in that situation, like, you won't even think of that, you know? And I find myself crying. So emotional support um, is really necessary. Because um, once you feel emotionally down, it also uh, has a huge impact on your physical healing. So you need that support system around you, people to be there to look out for you. So I'm really very much grateful for my sister and her friend who are always here checking up on me, getting whatever that I need, trying to make jokes when they, um, if they have to and stuff. So yeah, the thing is that also my sister woke up this morning and she lost her sense of smell. Um, actually yesterday and she had a sore throat but she had already on treatments uh, so I I'm still isolated like I'm still isolated and I uh, hope she gets uh, hope she gets better so anyways guys I will see y'all tomorrow hopefully by the grace of God I wake up with much strength and I'm sure that today I'm gonna have a peaceful sleep unlike last night so Steaming. This is among the first things I start with. I start off with every morning before going for a bath. I uh, use some hot water, put some Vicks vapor up. I put about two drops of eucalyptus oil, two drops of um, lemongrass oil, and three drops of tea tree oil. Cover myself and inhale for about. 15 minutes, though it's not uh, quite easy to remain even in the throat, throat, throat set of minutes, but uh, yeah, it helps open up the airway, my airways, helps me cough better, and uh, yeah, it helps release all the flames from my chest as well. I do this every morning and evening, preferably, I prefer doing it every. Uh, every three times a day but um it isn't easy because usually after steaming uh, it just knocks me completely out so let's do this
come feeling uh, very weak and uh, a little bit feverish but the fever is kind of low grade and um, I have been having a lot of running tummy so I'm just gonna show y'all uh, my mom did send me she has been a lifesaver so she sent me some uh, plants natural plants all right from home that people use to steam themselves with and it helps them so much it actually speeds up the healing process when one is infected with the virus so i've used already like a whole bunch of them i actually wanted to show y'all as soon as i did receive them but then i was not feeling quite quite good so um over here these have been in the refrigerator the deep freezer for a few days now and they are literally frozen so this is your eucalyptus leaves she did send um some eucalyptus leaves she sent some lemongrass and also basil, basil leaves yeah. so this is frozen eucalyptus leaves and um i am boiling the basil and um the um, lemongrass and a few of the eucalyptus leaves already the basil and the lemongrass is already finished because we've been steaming like the entire house has been steaming let me just show y'all so um it is boiling we're just preparing this to steam for the evening it's a whole yeah it's a whole mixture so your uh lemongrass is here you get your basil somewhere, your eucalyptus, everything is just somewhere, wherever. But then it has this, um, not really minty, but then, uh, how do I put it? But I don't know how to explain, but then leafy, yeah, kind of like leafy odor, uh, which also deodorizes the house. Yeah, and um, it's, it's good. So, um, I've been doing this ever since Tuesday and um, it has really helped. The funny part about steaming is that whenever, after I finish it uh, to steam, I completely feel knocked out like this. The whole steaming uh, process completely knocks me out. I feel, I feel half dead, partially dead and I had to rest for quite some time about 30 minutes to an hour, regain strength then I can go back or do whatever else that I have to do but then, I, then again I think it's part of the healing process and it's definitely working something in your body I mean like the body is loaded with the virus and uh, the whole fighting process is happening so I think hence that's why um, I feel that way but then um, I have seen a change, like a difference. Uh, ever since I started sleeping with these leaves compared to just your regular oils, they have made a, a, a really huge difference. So I'm gonna go on steam for the evening and I will see y'all tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Have a lovely night. Since I'm feeling much better, I am on my way to work now to get seen by the doctor. Um, sorry, I work at the hospital, so yeah, work hospital <laughs> to get seen by the doctor and get cleared so that I can resume work in no time from next week. Um, we don't usually get tested for the second time because the results will come up positive still because it takes some time for the virus to completely clear from the system. So the doctor is going to examine me and see how I'm feeling and check my lungs, respiration and so on and then I can get a letter of clearance and I'm good to go. When one feels better, um, they should continue taking their treatments um, and continue with isolation precautions. I mean like don't go to parties in that way or places where there's a lot of people just so you don't kind of like infect others yeah be cautious so i'm so excited i'm headed back home now 
and what makes me much more happy is that I am free now, free from being isolated in my own room, my own space. I will be able to join my sisters in the living room and do what I have to do, anything actually I wish to do. Um, so, um, so yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, so um, just to give all a quick update, actually not even an update, closing off this whole COVID chapter, uh, it's been two weeks and a day ever since I tested positive and it has been exactly four days since I have been cleared from this virus. I am so excited, yay! I'm really excited, let us celebrate the little victories as they come. Lots of our loved ones, lots of our colleagues, and um, and lots of our friends, and so on. So, um, if you are one of the people that have made it through, do celebrate it. Even if you got a buy yourself a bottle of champagne, you can do it. So, um, anyways, I'm just gonna give you a quick summary of everything. All right, um, just a little um, information of how to take care of yourself. The COVID-19 COVID virus uh, pandemic sorry, is still ongoing and um, it is getting worse by the day. Here in South Africa, we actually on the second wave now, we thought that it was actually uh, going after the, uh, the winter season was over. And again, it has started impacting people again and I'm hearing, well I haven't done much research but I'm hearing that um, this, uh, the second wave is much more, the, the virus comes in a very trickier form compared to when how it had started. Um, reason being is that people already get infected without manifesting any symptoms. They only end up uh, actually showing symptoms probably after a week or two and by then they've already infected so many people. Unlike when it had initially started, you would uh, easily uh, manifest symptoms before even infecting uh, people around you. So we have to be really careful. We have to still stick, adhere to the rules, the regulations, the precautionary measures, because we never know when we can catch it. We can never be safe enough. Of course, we it's unable. Um, it's, it's actually kind of impossible to say that you, you that to say that you cannot catch the virus. Maybe if you stick to the precautions, uh, you will not catch it. Uh, but the thing is that the fact is that um, it actually gives you a less chance of getting infected instead of you being totally negligent about it. When infected with the virus, you should make sure that you continuously drink lots of warm water. Avoid cold stuff at all. Don't drink cold water. Drink lots of warm water and uh, hydrate yourself frequently. Um, make your what I actually had done is that I made lemon, ginger, garlic, and uh, honey, a whole concoction, concoction, sorry, <laughs> a whole concoction, which I was drinking every, what I actually did is that I mixed a bunch of, I chopped a bunch of, of, of garlic, a whole bunch, with a bunch of um, ginger, and two uh, fresh lemon fruits, chopped up really large, uh, with lots of water and I put eight different tablets inside. I don't ever really spoken to y'all about this but I feel as though I have. Even if, well, if I have then uh, it's okay. Just, uh, double health education. So yeah. Uh, I put eight tablets of this inside and about 200 mils of honey. Let it boil for over 20 minutes and that's the juice that it's going to be. I was drinking it for a half a cup every actually three to four four times a day and it's, it's helped me and uh, steam regularly steam even four times a day you can use your, your essential oils eucalyptus lemongrass and um, tea tree oil with something slavery inside do that three, three to four times a day whenever you bath apply fix all over your, your chest and also your back remember fix what it does uh, gets absorbed into your body, uh, uh, thus it helps uh, promote healing as well from the inside. 
and uh, the whole menthol smell helps you cough better and heals up your airway as well. And drink uh, vitamins, stick to your vitamins, don't give up on them because remember by then your immune system is at its lowest. So you need to re-boost it, you need to boost it with your vitamins and also the natural way. And uh, on the other hand is that you should avoid your sweet stuff. Candies, chocolates, whatever it is that is sweet, even if it's juice, avoid it because you are literally and maybe you don't want this virus to melt and die. What you want to do your aim is for you to kill the virus it needs to die. So you cannot afford to multiply it in what by any means either. So avoid your sweet stuff and also you should um what else? <laughs> what else? Yeah. Sanitize, wash your hands frequently if you touch your door handles and whatsoever. Sanitize, continue wearing your mask if you have to go outside because at times I used to go outside just to get a, some, some vitamin D you know from the sun and a bit of fresh air because being in the same environment for a very long time it literally uh, affects you mentally you know it affects you mentally so try to walk outside a little bit to see uh, you know your plants and whatnot it will literally uh, make you feel more energized stressing you further and the thing is all that I've learned is that uh, this, this whole thing can make literally affect you emotionally, it can affect your mental health. You can literally feel depressed easily. So you need a whole support system. Even if it means that you should let your parents call you, your friends, if you have if you should stay alone, let that happen because you need that support. When someone checks up on you, you just feel happy. Like it makes you feel happy that is literally thinking about you and wanting you uh, to get better. Someone out there is literally thinking about you and is loving you. you know? And that whole, that whole support, that whole support system, it it's also helps with body uh, um, feeling. And um, last, lastly, but not least, once you get healed uh, from this, remember to continue. Do not stop. Continue drinking your vitamins. Continue steaming. Obviously, you're gonna uh, reduce the amount of times you're doing it. Maybe if you're doing it four times a day, you can even do it once a day. If you are, if you actually, if you're a person that usually goes out a lot, do it every evening or even like uh, three or four times a week. You know, it helps because you never know what's actually happening inside. Remember, this does not only show symptoms immediately. So do it even three to four times a week, daily if you can, and stick to your vitamins just to boost your immune system on a daily basis. And um, also, don't be negligent. Don't be negligent. The fact is, I don't know how true this is, but then it is possible for a person to get reinfected. I don't know how true this is, but I've heard lots of stories like this. So um, it is better to take precautions than being sorry by the end of the day. And I wanted to tell you all something. Um, okay, I'm unable to recall what I wanted to tell you but I guess uh, if you guys come back to me, I'm going to put it the information below. Uh, just look out for any changes. But anyways, uh, please keep yourselves... Oh yes, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> yes, I wanted to say that you should exercise. Don't feel lazy. Especially when um, you're starting to feel that no, I'm now getting better because you will feel you, you will have a feeling that no, you can feel that no, I'm getting strength. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not like, like I used to be yesterday. I'm getting better by the day. Start off by going for your walks. Go for your walks. Put on your mask. Go with someone. You know, just uh, for that person to be there with you. Uh, go for your walks. Even your 30 minutes walks around the area. You're good. It is fine. It helps you physically. It helps you physically. Just imagine when you come from an operation, for instance, if you had a, a hysterectomy at an operation uh, whereby they remove your entire uterus, you don't remain uh, bed bound for, your, for the entire week. The doctor literally orders that a physiotherapist must see. Why is that? Because if you stay in the same position, being on the bed for a very long time, you're going to have difficulties working in the long run. 
because now your muscles are gonna stay in that same position, in that same, in that same place. They won't get used to to that whole, uh, the whole, that whole um, blood flow, you know, in a rush and all that. So uh, when you walk in, it's actually exercising your muscles, you know, it's exercising your muscles to even get better blood flow where needed and the more blood is taken to your organs, the more, uh, the better you're going to get. So walk, start off by actually do your exercises, walking and then from then on you can start jogging if you have to and eventually go back to your regular exercises and stick to eating your healthy food stick to that avoid your junk food avoid your takeaways eat healthy food uh and yeah that's it for me guys so uh if there's any info that i have not shared with y'all and you can come across it maybe on the internet or reading books whatever wherever it can be from take it you know take it and uh grasp anything that you can because uh, this virus seems to be much more trickier than the influence and have yourselves a lovely day keep well keep warm and keep safe